Dr. Marius Barnard, the creator of Critical Illness Insurance, was born in Beaufort West, South Africa. The son of a missionary, he spent most of his childhood in one of the country's most deprived areas. Despite this modest upbringing, his parents taught him and his brother Christian the benefits of knowledge. Both brothers went on to study medicine and became heart surgeons. On the 3rd of December 1967, he assisted his brother Christian in the first human-to-human -human heart transplant. And what is the patient's condition now? Very well. We are doctors and we try to save a human being's life and, and I don't think there's anything special about it. As a doctor, I diagnose and treat patients. And as I went through medicine over the question of 20, 30 years, I saw tremendous changes, not only in the medical need, but also in the financial needs of our patients. <coughs> a case that really triggered my ideas was a young divorcee, 34, with two young children. The x-rays and biopsy confirmed the diagnosis of lung cancer, and we removed her lung. She went home five days later, and three weeks later she was back at work. Two years approximately after the operation, she came to me at my consulting rooms, basically dying on her feet, pale, exhausted, loss of weight, skin and bone, gasping for breath. And uh, I examined her and it was pretty obvious that she was now in the terminal stages of cancer. Why should she come to my rooms? You know, she can hardly walk. I, I can see her. She says, Doctor, I've come from work. Why was she at work? She needed the money. She needed money to provide for her children and herself rent, food, education. She died a few weeks later, and when she was buried, the life insurance policy paid out. Wouldn't it have been better for her to have the money when we diagnosed cancer? That poor little girl had to work until she basically was dead. This and many other cases like it made Marius realize there was a need for a new type of insurance, one that paid out on the diagnosis of illness, such as cancer, heart attack and stroke. He shared his vision with an insurance company, which then went on to develop the first critical illness insurance policy. It's really a marriage between medicine and insurance. I always say, we as doctors are the physical doctors. The protection insurance is the financial doctors. If you ill, the first person you'll go to will be, to, if you have a heart attack, to your physical doctor. But I hope at that stage you've already made provisions so that your financial health is in place. So that when your physical goes, that you have financial protection to provide you with that money which is the promise of insurance and the definition of insurance, to give you money when you need it most. <laughs>